Oh, hello, chap. Sorry I've not been around for a while. I've uh, been flying off uh, here and there. Um, this is the this is the new kite. What? Take it for a spin. What? What? Cue the rousing music. Mountain flying in Peru, as you can see. Um, can't see a great deal. There's a lot of mountains going on all around, for sure. Um, there's our aeroplane. Let's 
some absolutely amazing countryside going down here. I mean, look at this. This is amazing. We're following the coast north in Peru. And we've got this just awesome, amazing landscape. So cool. How cool is that? Anyway, get the map up. Here we are, look at us there, and we're going here. Look over there, and there's an airfield there. Look, and um, I'm going to land there for tonight because that's the end of my flying for tonight, and I need to open a bottle of wine. So that's where we're going. Look at this, this is awesome. You know, I, I really could um, spend money flying the Cessna 172 learner plane uh, around for phenomenal amounts of money, or I could fly a Tornado GR4 all around the world for fuck all. So, somewhere up ahead there's an airfield that I've never been to before in my life and I'm just making it all up as I'm going along Look at this, amazing. But who could afford to do this? I mean, I'm doing 400 knots up the uh, west coast of Peru in South America. And I'm just loving it. Look at this, this is amazing. I know somewhere up ahead there's an airfield which I'm going to find and I'm going to land on. And um, I hope I do a good landing, you know, because there's lots and lots of hours of autopilot sitting there being really bored, listening to music or the news or whatever. And um, yeah, you, you get to lose hands on experience, which is why I think a lot of airline pilots buy an aeroplane, a small white aeroplane and just blather it about in their spare time because they just want hands on because there's too much computers flying everything perfectly you know? ok look here's me there's the airfield, there's the VOR so we're, we're sort of on the nose and let's get the um, information up oh sky's clear more than 10 rain wind 200 at 14 area q and 1009 so let's whack it down to 1009 to have it really because I've got this amazing function on my airplane like this radio and biometric and uh, it just tells me how high I am above the ground which is what I really want to know amazing
So I guess this airfield I'm looking for is on the other side of that hill. I haven't seen Paddington Bear since I've been in Peru, or any sign of him whatsoever, or any of his family, or any marmalade sandwiches. Okay, well the mountains appear to have ended, so let's get the map up. And the airfield should be ahead of us, slightly off to our left. Okay, let's get the wings out completely and uh, turn the auto throttle off. So I'll turn to pile it off altogether. Let's find somewhere to set this bird down for the night. Because I am in the mood for a glass of wine or something like that. A beer. I see an airfield just over there. That'll do. There are the wheels. Let's land over there. I want to be touching down about 150 knots, really. I guess that's not plan.
160, 150. Nope. Bumps a daisy. Air brakes full, full flaps. Brakes. And I do believe we're down. Thank you for watching!